Watertown residents aren't convinced a proposed city program to help mitigate flooding in basements will help. 7 News reporter Lexi Bruning tells us more about that program and the concerns that residents have. The people are just horse over here. We've given up, basically. Francis Jerio says he doesn't dare leave his Richards Drive home for any length of time. I left uh, for Christmas uh, three or four years ago and we had a thaw. I came back and had water and I saw the pumps couldn't keep up. Um, two of them. Richards Drive and surrounding city streets are known for being flood prone when heavy rains fall in Watertown, damaging cellars. Now the city is coming up with a solution, the Backwater Prevention Device Reimbursement Pilot Program. City engineer Tom Campo explained the program during a city council work session on Monday. So the idea would be to the homeowner would go out and hire their own contractor um, and have them install the, the, this and the city would potentially, depending on what the council decides, reimburse the homeowner up to $2,500. Richards Drive residents say it's going to take a lot more than a backflow prevention valve to get this issue fixed. They say the entire infrastructure needs an overhaul. Well, it keeps the sewage from coming in, but doesn't help the groundwater. If, if the groundwater will back up because the sewer backs up. The sewer gets plugged, and then all of a sudden I got a lake in the front yard. And then the water all goes down to the lowest point, which is my cellar. Down the street, Doug Osborne says his basement saw eight inches of water during last month's rain, and he isn't convinced the program will help. I've had plumbers come over and check out, you know, my situation, and they didn't feel that having a backflow check valve was even necessary. Um, I think it actually speaks to um, a larger problem and that is the infrastructure in the area. Mayor Sarah Pierce says the city has to work on some logistics, including how the program will be funded before putting it up to a vote. Lexi Bruning, 7 News.